Hey, hey, it's your girl Carmel Jean Francois coming to you from sunny Florida. <laughs> Owner and founder of CFit Coaching. Welcome back to my channel. So I am at the pool side, as you can see, and we're about to get our workout on. Um, you see all these things in front of me. These are, well, this is everything that I'll be using for today's workout. I don't have my trusted yoga mat. So this is my towel. I have a resistance band. So if you have one, go ahead and get yours. I have water and I have a rope. Now you don't need any of these things if you do not have it available. But water, you do need your water <laughs> and your towel. Everything that we're gonna be doing, we don't need any equipment for. We're gonna be doing some basic exercises. You know what we, you know how we do on this channel. We do basic exercises, but they're effective. So each workout or each exercise, we're gonna be generally doing about a minute, just about a minute. Um, I'm not in my studio, so I'm a little bit all over the place but you guys are gonna hang in with me, right? So I've got about a 20 minute workout scheduled for you. So let's get it together. Go get your music, go get your water, go get your band, go get your mat, everything that you need. Get your smile, get your energy, and um, meet me back here in just a second, just a second. We're gonna start with our jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, I'm just tying my hair back to make sure it just doesn't get in the way. <laughs> if you don't have a jump rope, go ahead and swing your arms. Let me grab it. Jog in place, whatever feels comfortable for you. Walk in place, in place. Here I go. Whew. I don't know about you, but when I was younger, jumping rope was so much fun for me. I even learned a couple of tricks. Not many tricks though. I'm not that good of a jump roper, jumper. Not that good of a jumper. Whew. Got caught, it's okay, we start again. We're only here for a few seconds. I thought it would be fun just to take this outside. Last time I jumped rope inside, well, let's just say I knocked over a really pretty vase that was gifted to me, and I thought I was gonna have it forever, and I did not, because I was jumping rope indoors. So I don't do that anymore. All right, I think we're good. What we're gonna do from here, I want you to, let's sit down in some squats. We're gonna be doing some more squats later. Ooh, I gotta catch my breath. Taking a deep breath. Exhale. Excellent, good. So what we're doing now, we're just warming ourselves up. We're getting the blood flow, especially if it's in the morning for you. Good. Making sure that you're sitting back, keeping your chest up as much as possible, but keeping your neck aligned with your spine. And I want you to breathe. Good. Now, Feet nice and wide. Let's just switch from side to side. Shall we? Sitting back in that squat. And then we're gonna get into it. We're only here for a few more seconds, warming ourselves up. Ah, good work. There's a little bit of a breeze here, not too much, but I think I'm okay. We're gonna be doing some more strength exercises than anything, so I know we'll be okay. All right, so I want you to go get your mat and meet me back here and your mat and your band. Meet me back here so that we can start working on a little bit of strength, yeah? Okay. So I hope you all can see me. My band is on, it's around my thighs, it's not at my knee. We're starting with squats. Are you ready to start? Excellent. Come down, good? We're breathing. Making sure that you're not letting the, the, the band take your knees in, right? We don't want that, pay close attention. Make sure that those knees stay out. We are activating the glutes right now. The glutes are working even more than they usually do on just the basic squat. So make sure that you're sitting back with it. Make sure the chest is up. Make sure that you're breathing. <sighs> Good. Excellent job, y'all. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, we're gonna take this a little bit further. We're gonna come down in the squat. When we come up, I wanna see you come out to the side like that. Just take a lateral step out to the opposite side. Good. Now, I don't want you to stand up all the way. I want there to still be a slight bend in your knee. We're only here for a few more seconds. That's it, I promise. Let's finish this out for me, just a few more seconds. Good, you feel it? <laughs> I know I do. Great job. We're gonna go to the next exercise. 
So for the next one, all I want you to do is really let this fall down to the ankles. So the resistance should be tight enough. So we're gonna do a little shuffle to the left and shuffle to the right, or whichever direction, because I pointed to the right and I said left. Good, so we're doing a double shuffle. If you have the space, go for three. Good, now remember, I want your knees slightly bent, right? For those of you who feel like you're a rock star this morning and you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, can you come down a little bit deeper? Ah, it changes, right? So just take a shuffle, good. For those of you who wanna take it down a notch, step, good, double step. However slow or however quickly you feel like you can handle. Remember, we're here for about a minute. Good, so your heart rate should be ri rate, rising, rising, rising. <laughs> Good, we have less than 15 seconds to go. So knock out the last few seconds with me in a shuffle if you've been stepping it. If you're just exhausted and you're like, I can't, then it is what it is. You guys know you. <sighs> I felt that. All right, so let's take it to the floor, to the mat, to your towel, whatever it is that you have. And what we'll do, we'll continue with some glute and thigh work. I know you don't mind working the glutes and the thighs, right? Especially for the summer. All right, so come on down, folks. We're taking them all the way up to the thigh again. So we're here. Let's work on some glute bridges. I hope you all can see me. I'm here. Core's engaged. I'm really planting my lower back into my towel. So with that said, hands on the side and the bell's about to ring. <sighs> Squeeze it up. Excellent. Now, again, you want to keep your knees from buckling in. So definitely keep your knees out as you come up and we activate the glute, squeezing on top. Squeeze the glute when you get on top because if the, the goal of this is not to raise your booty up as high as you can or raise your hips up as high as you can. The goal of it is once you get up to a certain position, you're able to squeeze the glutes, right? Otherwise, we're, it's not the exercise that we want to do, right? So I want you to take it up. Good. Squeeze. Pulling that belly button, make sure that your core is still engaged. So many times, oftentimes, you know what? Every time I work out, I have to walk myself and talk myself through it. Breathe. And I have to walk, I have to remind myself of the of my posture, of what it is that I want in this workout and what it is that I'm working on and focusing on. Right now I'm focusing on my glutes. So I want to make sure that I'm squeezing when I come up. I want to make sure my core is engaged because that helps with the squeezing, helps with the activation. What does activation even mean? Oftentimes we do these workouts and we're not activating or we're not actually working the muscle that this, this workout is intended to because it's not activated, it's too weak, or it doesn't even know it's supposed to be working. So all the muscles around it is working for that particular exercise, except the main exercise that it's, except the main muscle that it's, that it's made for. Four. Woo, how did you like my rant? So we're gonna take this and let's let's chill for a second, shall we? So I have one straight line from my shoulder to my hip. Good. My knees are in this position. Let me adjust myself and we're just gonna be raising this up, okay? Ready? It's starting in a few seconds. Woo, are you as hot as I am? I am sweating. Good. Bring it up. Come on. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. You're going to feel it here because that's all we've been doing this whole time. We've been just working the glutes and the hips, our thighs. The outer thighs are really working right now. That's what we're really focusing on. <sighs> Excellent. So where do you feel it? Where do you feel it? Do you feel it here in your outer thighs? Do you feel it in your glute? <sighs> Breathe. If you don't, hmm. Okay, so for those of you who are feeling very rock star-ish this morning, let's take the whole foot up. <laughs> Changes it, doesn't it? <laughs> Just a few more seconds and then we're going to switch sides. Three, two, one. All right, y'all. Oh, I have a timer that keeps time for me, but I kind of went off on it a little bit, so I'm not 100% sure that we're 
<laughs> that we're even really doing it, it in a timely fashion like I wanted to. <sighs> All right, so ready. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right, so let's start. Really raise it up. Now you see here, my feet are together. I'm raising it up. I'm focused on this outside. <sighs> Just now this leg raised. The leg that's supposed to be on the bottom, the stabilizer, it just raised up. That's not what I want to happen at all. So make sure that you keep it strong. Now, for those of you who are feeling super strong, if you have not already, raise up that entire leg for me. Let it shift for you. Good, you are on your side, you're not leaning back. I was kind of leaning back a little bit, I have to admit. You know I don't lie to you guys. If my posture is not right, I'm gonna tell you that I recognize that my posture isn't right. Excellent. Ah, good. We're in here for a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Ah, good job. So I want you to take your lightest band, right? It gives it has some give. The move looks like this, folks. We're gonna be standing, we're gonna be starting in a plank position. And planks are always palms under your shoulders, right? Directly under your shoulders. And palms are spread out. My body is completely in one straight line. I'm not here and I'm not down here with it. And the goal is to get ourselves down and push ourselves back up. And what I would like to see is a side step and bring it back good so then we're activating a few different areas in the muscle group by going, taking it from side to side like that it's not gonna be easy I promise you but what we're gonna do is do our best let's count um, shall we count 10 total push-ups let's try that now is it okay to drop down to your knees if you get tired 100% 100% and don't be 100% surprised if I do it and many of you who have worked out with me have seen me I take the modifications all the time. If you're a rock star, if you're feeling really strong today, you do all of it <laughs> in a full push-up position. All right, so let's get started, shall we? So my hands are directly under my shoulders. This band is stretched out and I feel the activation in my chest muscles and my arms are working too. Don't even listen to the sand. Let's get started in five, four, three, two, one. Take it down, push it up. Good, now pay attention to the form. Pull in the belly button. Good, and make sure that your neck stays aligned with your spine. Don't let your shoulders creep up into your neck. Good, I'm taking the modified version at this point. Coming down on my knees. Kiss the ground. Good. Guys, don't be disappointed, but I lost count. So I'm gonna do two more. This is one. Ah, this is two. Whew. How was that for you? I think next time we do this, we should, we should get rid of the band, right? No. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Let's, let's do some, um, crunches shall we we're gonna leave the bands alone for the crunches but what i want to see here we're gonna do some basic bicycles so from here let's take one foot in good and extend excellent make sure that you're breathing and again like i always say make sure that belly is pulled in nice and tightly and you're extending one leg for the other can you go faster than this of course you can can you go slower than this yes you can my main thing is that you come up into that crunch on each side. You're feeling the obliques working. You're feeling the lower abdomen working, abdomen working, the lower abs. And you're breathing. That's, that's what I want. That's what we all want in order to make this an effective workout. To arbitrarily do these moves and say I worked out, when you don't see the results in a few weeks, you're going to be like, well, what was I doing wrong? That, that. That's what you were doing wrong. Good, we're only here for a few more seconds. Three, two, one, done, relax. 
Extend it if you have to. Good, taking a deep breath. Excellent. Let's come up in some basic crunches. Now again, I want you to do a pelvic tilt and make sure that your lower back is against your towel, your mat, the floor, the ground, wherever you are. And let's do some basic crunches. Excellent. We're really focused here on the upper, on your upper abs. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Excellent. Keeping up with me? I hope so. Good work, folks. Just a few more. I'm so sorry. I'm breathing right into this microphone. I'm not used to working with a microphone, so you got to hear all of it, but it's okay. We'll throw some music on. Hopefully you have some music on and it won't affect your workout too much to hear me. We're here for three, two, one. Good job. All right. I got one more for you. Your lower abdomen our lower abs, which is really a problem for so many people. And of course, we can always work that muscle. Now remember, abdominal work, core work, crunch work does not excuse a less than optimal diet, so to speak. I'm trying to be nice about it here. But any of you who have taken any of my courses, I'm never really that nice about it. This is for the general public. So I want you to be at this angle right here. I want both your knees to be at this 90 degree angle. Good. Come here for support. Those of you who need a little bit more support, just support your lower back here. But again, I want your lower back to be flushed with the mat or whatever surface that you are on. Pull that belly button in. I want you to extend the leg out and pull it back in. For those of you who cannot extend it out, for, for those of you who cannot extend it out, extend it out because you're lacking the strength still and you're working towards it, I want you to tap it down and bring it back up. Tap it down and bring it back up. Tap it down and bring it back up. For those of you who are feeling super strong today, extend it out like me. And for those of you who are like, <laughs> I got Carmel B, take it down lower, right? So the lower you go, the more challenging, right? And then you can play with it. See where you feel comfortable. Maybe it's high like I'm, like me. Maybe it's even higher. But I don't want you to take it so high that you lose the basic focus and the meaning of this workout. You know what I mean? So to definitely keep it challenging for yourself. Only you know what that challenging place for you is. Only you know that. For my rock stars, we only have a few more seconds, but take it lower. Good. Breathe with it. Good. Give me about two more. Wherever you add, just add those one and two and take it back with control. <sighs> We're done. So here you go. One leg crossed over the other. Pull in that knee. Ah, oh, after all of those, that feels amazing. We're gonna get into our upper body component right now. But right now, let's just stretch this out because we worked it so much. We're gonna cross the other leg over the, over the knee. Take that right hand, put inside that hole between the knee and pull. <laughs> I don't know if you feel this, but this is super tight for me. I've been neglecting my stretches lately, folks. And um, when that happens, you definitely, definitely feel it immediately. I know I do anyway. Um, so this is just a friendly, <laughs> hurtful reminder that I need to get back into my stretches. All right. So just to, and let's enjoy this abdominal stretch. For some of you, you can't come up that high, which is fine. Just come up here and you should be able to feel it as soon as you come up. And breathe. Good, how do you feel? Take it up to your hands and knees. Let's do a cat-cow. So my palms are directly under my shoulders, my knees directly under my hips. I'm gonna round the back out. 
push the floor away. Go and I'm gonna arch the back and look up. Mm. It's a gorgeous day here in Florida. Oh my God. Round the back up. Good, arch the back. Ah, taking a deep breath. Taking the deep breath of wherever it is that you are. Sit back with it and reach out, 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 out. Good work, everybody. Thanks for joining me. And thank you for being a part of my day and my morning and my workout. Oh, working out is my jam. I love it. So I'd love it if you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, you are at Secret Coaching. I am a girl, Carmel Chafosua, really from New York City, but coming at you this month from Florida, and I'm excited about that. So tune back in. Let me see if I have something for you in the next couple of days, because this is fun, okay? Ciao, ciao. I am dripping. I am dripping. But that was a good workout. Thanks for joining me. Mm. I didn't get a chance to drink any water while I was working out, but this is so refreshing right now. <sighs> My apartment's right up there. That's where the shower is, too. <laughs> and it's calling my name. <laughs>